How to play your new favorite two-player game. Actually, it's an old game, but if you're like me and have been lied to your whole life, this will be revolutionary. Most of us have been taught how to play the child version of Mancala, where one player continues his turn endlessly until he or she lands in an empty space. Though this PG version can be sort of fun, I find the ages 8 and up version to be much more interesting. Allow me to show you how Mancala is really meant to be played. Start by putting 4 marbles into each small cup. Players then take turns choosing a cup and moving the pieces in it counterclockwise, putting one marble in each cup. Each player can only start moving pieces from their side of the board. When they get to the scoring cups, called mancalas, they only put marbles into their own mancala and skip the opponents if they get to it. The only time a player gets to go again is if their last piece lands into their mancala. And here is my favorite part of the game. You can steal pieces from the other player. Here's how it works. If your last playing piece is placed into an empty cup on your side, you may then take that marble and all of the marbles from your opponent's cup which is across from you, and put them into your mancala. If the opposing cup has no marbles in it, then nothing happens. The game ends when all six cups on one side of the board are empty. The player who still has pieces on their side of the board, when the game ends, gets to take all those pieces and put them into their mancala. Whichever player has more pieces in their mancala is the winner. We like to count by simply distributing all the pieces from the mancalas back into their player's cups. The player who is missing pieces on their side is the loser and gets to demand another match. That is all. Do enjoy your new favorite game. And in case you still have unanswered questions, here is one more example of gameplay that will hopefully answer them for you. 